But yeah, I'm going to be unboxing this little beauty which I got from eBay. Um, and before we begin though, if you'd like to see more videos related to uh, Warhammer 40k, Age Sigma, Conflict 47, please hit the subscribe button and smash the bell button in and you'll see more videos like this. So this box I got from eBay for £20. Now, the contents are not quite exactly as shown. Uh, I thought I'd tell you that immediately. So we don't have one of these and we don't have one of them. But as far as I'm aware, pretty much the rest is there with some extras and some bits and bobs. So I will go over the box in a second, but this is, as I said, isn't brand new. Um, this is thingy, but I do I did like the box too. I got this for a bit of a steal. It was 20 English pounds. And I'll get the contents out and we'll have a quick look at the box first though. So this is the majority of the models. Uh, these are all, so I've got some trees, woo! I've been wanting one of them trees for a little while. Um, so these are more bits, we'll have a look at them. And this um, is the, ooh, careful, the Sentinel, which is not quite glued on. Um, I'm not sure on the base, if I'm honest, but it'll work uh, for what I need it to do. So we'll put that to one side. We've got one of these, which I'm assuming came with it, which is the mail order stuff, um, which is quite old, I'm guessing. I wanna check the year on it. Well, I remember the red, the red um, thing is, I remember that little glue, that glue, that was awesome. Um, and then paints, where was that? Sorry, bit of a flashback. Some cool models. Will it tell me when it was out? It was out 1999. Wow, look at that. These people are all old now. Where was that? Right, so, <clears throat> let's carry on. We've got a little, another, another little bag of bits and bobs. And I think, oh no, we've got some more models here. There's a weird little thing, which I don't know what that is, that came with it. If anyone knows, you can let me know. But I feel like it's pretty old, either that, or it's a completely different game. Let me know if you know, um, in the comments down below. Ooh, chucking them about. So more models, more models. We'll have a look at the box first. Da, da, da. That's it, yep. So we'll have a little look at the box. Let's see if we can zoom out a bit. Imperial Guard content. So this is what we used to get instead of the start collecting. I can't remember how much they used to be. I think some of them was like 50 pounds, some of them was a lot more. And it depended on the box that you got. So in this one you used to get, is it 20? Yeah, 20 Capjan Jungle Fighters, two Sentinels and a Lehman Russ Battle Tank, um, which would be pretty much a good start for an army. Um, nowadays you probably do a patrol detachment with it, um, but you'd normally still need a HQ with this and then you'd be good for a game. This is the side, which is going against some Eldar. Um, you'll have to tell me what models they are. Is that a here? Possibly some Rangers? I don't know, I'm making that up. And obviously here's our boys in green. This side, boys in green again. And again, loads of uh, loads of model pictures. A Sentinel. Um, again, I'm guessing it's Capture. It's a Scout Sentinel either way. And then we go back around again. Um, the box, Ooh, top of the box. Is here again, all of our boys. Da, da, da. One in the desert there, but still. And some more of the boys again. And that's it, pretty much. Cool. Yeah. So, um, these are the models that uh, were complete. This side is the half decent ones, with some minor exceptions. I'll probably be ripping. Basically the sergeant arms and putting las guns on them. Uh, we've got a sniper here, possibly need stripping, uh, but pretty decent to be honest. Uh, so that one's a keeper. Um, this I will maybe get rid of. I don't think I'm gonna be starting a retro Acadian army. Who knows? Uh, but I'll probably be selling that on eBay once I maybe give it a bit of a fix. Um, here are some of the sergeants. I'm not quite keen on the Space Marine shoulder pads. I mean, I see what they were doing, it's fine, but like that guy's like, I'm not even looking where I'm, where I'm shooting. I was like, boom, so confident. There we go. So they're probably going to get edited. So this one is just a dude running. It's passable. Um, again, another sergeant model I'll probably be changing. Um, this one will probably lower his arm, maybe. Who knows? I might actually keep him. We'll see how he goes. See how he does. I like the little grenades on the, on the front there. A nice little touch. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, another guy here. Lugging his gun. Passable. 
Some of them are hilarious. We'll go over that in a sec. Here is another guy, passable-ish. Um, this guy is, uh, I think, throwing a grenade, if I'm honest, looking at it. Um, let's go moving on. This one, um, doing the sly face. Ooh, look out. What's that, Annie? Shut up. Look out. Um, we have got another guy. Boom. Yep, yeah, that one's passable. That one's a keeper. This one I might snap his head off and put a new one on. Who knows? Uh, but again, passable. And here we have a another passable guy. So now we're going to have a look at the little rejects piles. So some of them are really easy fixes. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of them are quite comical. This guy's got an arm missing. I'll probably just put a new arm on him and he'll be good. This guy is missing the end of his gun. I'm sure there was one of them. Yeah, that's basically it. So I'll either put... And he's looking the other way. like, I'm not looking at you. No, I'm not going to shoot you. So he's a fixer. This guy is half decent. I'll just lower his arm a bit. Because it looks like he's... Well, he could be signaling. So it might be all right. Uh, this one is horrendous. I'm not going to lie to you. So he's got the gun arm. And if you look under there, there's the trigger of the flame. <laughs> um, and there's the other bit. So there was... Obviously, I'm not not being mean, but this was done by either a young child or a simpleton. Because um, some of them are a bit tricky. I won't lie to you, some of them are a bit tricky. Or maybe like a fully inexperienced person. I'd probably put a las gun on there, possibly fix it. I mean, his head's facing the wrong way, but easy, easy to fix. This guy, looking at his hand, he's holding a gun. Again, that's passable. He could just be thinking, but apart from the fact that he's looking up the other way, going... His, his neck's not quite on right, someone snaps his neck. Um... Again, I'll just take the shoulder pad off this guy. Pretty much passable in my opinion. Um, this is another good one. <laughs> so there's the gun hand and then there's the trigger. He's got a double trigger. Um, and his, his knife's fallen out of his hand as well. And his head's like a bit off the wrong direction. But easy fixes. Bit of a pull off and a reposition. This guy, his torso is not quite on right, but it's all right. His head's a bit like, like he's just been hit in the neck or something. <laughs> like he's had a muscle spasm or something like, oh, my neck. That's where it looks. Sorry, do apologize. Um, and again, same again, double triggers. Again, quick fix. Um, and this guy is pretty damn hilarious. I want to know what they was thinking when they was gluing this. Like, right, uh, I've got some triggers, so I've got a knife trigger. And I'll just put a flamer on his hands. Yeah, that looks legitimate. He's obviously getting hacked to pieces. This guy is a similar affair. The, is it? No, kind of. They made a bit of an effort, but they didn't get it right. So that's going to be a removal. And last two. He's got no arm. I could possibly fix it, but I don't know if I might just lower the gun and see how it goes from there. This guy is pretty hilarious too. But this is a quick fix. Snap his head the right way, like... And then uh, either take the flamer off and put a knife in his hand or swap his arm. But it's all right. A lot of these are quick fixes, but for £20, £20, so 10 of the Catachans on Games Workshop will go for about 18 quid. I've seen them go for about, <clears throat> around about £20. No, Nicholas, about £10 uh, for 10. Obviously, I've got more than that and I've got the bits to spare. We'll go over that in a sec. Well... It'll be a second for you, but not for me. So here I am back. Um, as a heads up, if I am talking a little bit funny, it's because I've just been to the dentist. Um, so here we have a Scout Sentinel uh, with a heavy flamer and the saw. Um, I think the, the guy's passable. He could be just lifting that like joystick really high. Uh, but I'm going to leave that and I'm just going to paint it as is. Uh, it's got the leaves and everything. So this is obviously a Scout Sentinel. Um, the foot wasn't attached, so I suppose I can bring it however I like. The foot on this one is attached to the base. The base is not a standard as far as I'm aware, Games Workshop base. It is 60 millimeters though, so I'm probably going to stick with it um, at least until uh, until I get hold of some more, maybe. Or I might just leave it as is. Because um, I think if I'm honest, again, from the tabletop, that's pretty much okay. So there he is with his little feet. It's not going to stand up forever. 
um, but that is the Scout Sentinel again. So part of the kit, which I got those dudes over there, and the Scout Sentinel for twenty pounds. Normally these guys go for around uh, somewhere anywhere between eighteen, eighteen to like thirteen quid on eBay. So I'm already winning. We'll move on to the extra bits now. So here is a dude, or most of a dude. So again, just add some legs and an arm on. We've got a set of legs and a torso. I'm guessing it's for that guy. Got some little bits and bobs, which is always good. We'll look at all of them, but there's a las gun. We have, uh, what else have we got here? An arm with a las gun, a las pistol. A ram, this is random, not gonna lie. He's kind of just catching it with his hand. <laughs> Flipping weird to say the least. Um, so that's that guy. We've got four bases. There was on this, but I took them off. Yeah. Thingy hand. Um, we have got. Let's move them to one side. So I've got two, basically two people there to make at least. There is some arms with a sword and some daggers. We have last guns, lots of cast there arms so i've got at least let's have a look at least three two las guns and a flamer on this one enough arms to sort that out we've got two legs three torsos on there so now we're up to the count of four legs so four people a another set of legs las guns vox caster so that's five people i can make in addition to them um, some more arms. Most of this is going to be basically arms again um, and daggers and stuff like that. Some more las guns in case I want to go las gun heavy. And what else have we got? Basically some heads. So not as many heads as I thought I was going to get. There's three. And we've got another las gun carrying arm. A couple more heads there to be honest and some more arms like that. So basically. <coughs> As it looks, um, if I want to do the fixable ones, um, I can probably give them all those guns with no issues whatsoever. And we also got some terrain. Um, I'm not going to put it all together right now, but as you can see, it's like modular, so you can stick it together. Um, and these are the tops of the trees, so we'll see. What I'll probably do with these is I'll either put them on a single base, maybe, or I will just make them up into two trees or three trees or whatever it is and then um, just paint them up. So I'm probably not gonna keep them in their glorious green and brown color scheme. But as you can see with this, that pops off there. That pops off there and it goes into there. So they're all like interconnectable. That's a word I just made up there, interconnectable. Um, so there is some terrain. Well, quick glance at this guy. Uh, as I said, if you know what model it is, what it's called, where it's from, because I feel like it's Gorka Mark with that base, but I could be exceedingly wrong. Um, let me know in the comments down below, because I'm quite interested to find out what this little creature is. Um, it'd just be nice to know. Um, so, wrapping it up, I've got somewhere in the region of, my maths is bad, um, 24 plus 5, so about 29 guys, nearly 30 guys, for £20. So them alone, even if you cast class them as ten pound, I've already saved myself tenner. Plus, around about fifteen quid, we'll say for the Sentinel. Um, so that would have been about forty-five pounds worth, roughly. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of these are not for the faint-hearted. If you're just starting and you're trying to fix something like this, it's probably not for you. You probably don't want to pick up something like this. But as a little bit of a more experienced uh, modelling guy. Is that the term? Probably not. Um, hobbyist, we'll say. I feel quite confident to be able to fix them and just paint them up. And again with this, paint this up, it's easy. Um, I've saved myself around about, what, <clears throat> 25 quid? Which is pretty cracking. Um, yeah, and uh, I think we'll call the video there. If you liked the video, comments down below. Also let me know what this guy is um, and how you think I should fix or build them. And basically, any Arnie or Sylvester Stallone quotes you want to put in there, go for it. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.